problems with tables and graphs, one of the first steps is to find the coordinates of two reference points and use them in our answer. We have one point at 0, 3. We have another point at 1, 5. Keep in mind that the first coordinate is on the x-axis and the second coordinate is on the y-axis. Now, using the coordinates 0 and 3, we can plug in for x and y in our different answer choices and figure which one gives us a valid solution. So for b, let's plug in 3 for y and 0 for x. 3 does not equal to 0, so that b is incorrect. Immediately cross out b and focus on your other answer choices. 3 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 5. This is incorrect since 3 does not equal to 5. C is also incorrect, therefore completely cross it out and focus on your other answer choices. 3 is equal to 3 times 0 plus 3. Great! 3 does equal to 3, so D could possibly be a correct answer choice, but remember to check all of your answer choices. Let's look at A. 3 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. You see, A is also correct. That is why we used another reference point at 1 to 5, because, we also, because in this situation, we have to double check our answer, because we have two possible correct answer choices. There has to be only one. So plug in the coordinate 1, 5, and see if you get a valid solution. Using answer choice A, 5 equals to 2 times 1 plus 3. Correct. 5 does equal to 5. So answer choice A is still valid. Now let's try answer choice D. 5 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 3? No. 5 does not equal to 6. Therefore answer choice D is incorrect. Even though one point was satisfied in D, the equation must satisfy all points on the line. Therefore A is your correct answer choice. If you got A, as your final answer choice, great job. You're on the right track.